This is the University of Hawaii Maui College, the college on Maui. Uh, but before we start with the math, uh, we're going to take a step backwards uh, and talk about some things uh, that everyone thinks that you already know everything about. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to show you uh, is this, my friends, is uh, one meter long. Here, there it is sideways. Yeah, see we have help in the back. This is one meter. This length right here is one meter. And we're going to talk more about that. Uh, this right here is a one liter bottle of water. Uh, and this one liter bottle of water, uh, the water in this bottle uh, weighs one kilogram. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, and so this is one liter of fluid. Uh, and this little syringe right here, I'll show you this later, uh, this uh, holds one milliliter of water. Uh, and that's going to be my topic uh, for at least the next few minutes. Uh, and so you can have that right there if you'd like. Uh, when you're at the store, uh, grab a one liter bottle uh, and feel that and notice that it weighs uh, one kilogram. So we'll move over the PowerPoint slides, make sure I brought them with me today. Uh, and we're going to try to take all this jumbled confusion mess uh, that we have on our hands and try to make some kind of sense out of the metric system. Uh, and so I showed you the one liter bottle of water. Uh, one liter of water weighs one kilogram. Uh, and this is where uh, the metric system begins. Uh, and so when you're uh, at the store, whatever you're shopping for, if you see me in the fluids section, uh, I'm usually looking at the fluids, doing the conversions. Uh, notice that this bottle says it has one liter, uh, which is the same thing as 33.8 fluid ounces. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, but a liter is uh, about one quart, <clears throat> 1.06 quarts. Uh, so fortunately, if you know what a quart is, uh, you know just about what a liter is. Uh, and again, one liter of water weighs one kilogram. <clears throat> well, here is one milliliter of water. Here I'll switch the Elmo uh, so you can see uh, what this looks like. This is a three milliliter syringe. Uh, and if I draw uh, my imaginary water uh, into this syringe, uh, right there I have exactly one milliliter. See? little teeny tiny thing. Uh, so a milliliter is the same thing as a cubic centimeter. Uh, volume and length are related to each other and we're going to show you that. Uh, but right off the board I wanted you to know that one milliliter of water uh, is the same thing as one cubic centimeter uh, and a milliliter of water weighs one gram. Uh, and if you took uh, a thousand of these little milliliters uh, if you did that a thousand times, uh, then you would end up with uh, one liter of water. Uh, I have a little ruler I got at the store. It's about this long, uh, about a foot, about 30 centimeters. Uh, and so I wanted you to take a look at the ruler uh, when you're in the store. Fortunately, we have one floating around the classroom. Uh, for those of you who are interested here, you can have that one too. Uh, and you'll notice I can see 10 centimeters on there. Uh, we blow it up. That's one centimeter. Uh, one centimeter is one one hundredth of a meter. Uh, and for those of you who actually have the vision, uh, you'll notice that uh, that is one milliliter. I'm sorry, one millimeter. Uh, and one millimeter is one thousandth of the meter uh, that I showed you at the beginning. So. This is about measurement, and what uh, the metric system is about uh, is this right here. Uh, corresponding lengths with volumes with weights, uh, because they are related to each other. Uh, the system that we use, it has all sorts of names, we call it the American system. Uh, the lengths and the volumes and the weights, they don't really have anything to do with each other. Uh, but the beautiful thing about the metric system is lengths and volumes uh, and weights are all uh, very carefully related to each other. Uh, so we can go uh, from milliliters to cubic centimeters uh, without uh, calculus. So these are the fundamental units of the metric system. Length is measured in meters. Uh, and a meter is just about three feet long. Uh, and I showed you that uh, at the beginning. Uh, volume is measured in liters uh, and weight 
is measured in grams. Now, I know some of you are worried about the difference between mass and weight, uh, but everyone here lives on planet Earth, so we'll talk about the difference between mass and weight later. Weight is measured in grams. Uh, and so this is important that you understand the fundamental units of the metric system. All right, so the word kilo means 1,000. So kilo anything is 1,000 of them. So a kilometer, a kilometer uh, is 1,000 meters. Uh, and so I showed you what one meter looks like, about three feet. Uh, and so a kilometer is about six-tenths of a mile. I don't need you to know that a kilometer is six-tenths of a mile. I need you to know that kilo means 1,000. Uh, and that's what's important here. Uh, so a kilogram is 1,000 grams. Uh, a kilogram is 2.2 pounds, uh, thereabouts, uh, and that is something that you will need to commit to memory forever if you're going to be in the healthcare business. Uh, and so today is a great day to start with that. One kilogram weighs 2.2 pounds. One kilogram weighs 2.2 pounds. There are 2.2 pounds per kilogram. One kilogram per 2.2 pounds. Okay. Kilo equals 1,000. Kilo anything is 1,000 anything. Uh, centa means one one hundredth of. A centimeter, which we talk about all the time, is one one hundredth of a meter. Uh, and that's abbreviated. One centimeter uh, is equal to one one hundredth of a meter. So you notice the abbreviations there. Uh, they're about 2.2 centimeters per inch. Uh, and I don't really need you to know that, but those of you keeping score, doing the rocket science in this class, uh, you need to know that 2.2 centimeters is equal to an inch. Uh, milli means one one thousandth of anything. So a millimeter is one one thousandth of a meter, and I showed you uh, the millimeter earlier. Uh, and abbreviated, that's mm. One mm is equal to one one thousandth of a meter. Uh, a milliliter is one one thousandth of a liter. I showed you the one liter bottle, uh, and if we divided that into a thousand parts, uh, we'd end up with a milliliter. Uh, and you can see the abbreviation down below. Uh, sometimes liter is abbreviated with a big L, sometimes it's abbreviated with a little L, sometimes liter is abbreviated with a cursive L, uh, and sometimes you'll spell, see liter spelled L-I-T-R-E, that's the European uh, spelling. We have to be backwards here and even spell the metric system differently. <clears throat> a milligram, which we talk about all the time in pharmacology, is one one thousandth of a gram. Uh, and remember, a gram of water uh, is one milliliter, uh, so a thousandth of that uh, is a milligram. Uh, and so one milligram is one one thousandth of a gram. Uh, and so when we talk about 10 and 20 milligram doses, you can see how teeny, 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 tiny amount that is. Uh, micro, uh, we might actually talk about micro things in here. I think we talk about micrograms. Uh, micro uh, is one one millionth. A microliter is one millionth of a liter. Uh, and so uh, we see one microliter is one one millionth of a liter, but if you think about it, uh, one microliter is one one thousandth of a milliliter. Uh, and that's actually important information. Uh, but I think this is more important right here. A microgram, we talk about micrograms all the time in pharmacology. Uh, a microgram is one one millionth of a gram. Uh, and so a microgram is one one millionth of a gram. Uh, but something uh, that you will need to know in the healthcare business forever is one microgram is equal to one one thousandth of a milligram. Uh, and notice that they're kind of spelled alike. Uh, sometimes instead of using MC, uh, they'll use the Greek letter mu. Uh, in this class, uh, we'll spell it just like this. A microgram is equal to one one thousandth of a milligram uh, because a microgram is one one millionth of a gram. Uh, and so hopefully moving those decimal points around by three places, something that you're going to be able to do in here. All right, so because everyone here that's taking this course does live on planet Earth, I have been assured of that, 
Uh, mass has weight because of gravity. Uh, and so that one liter of bottle, one liter bottle of water uh, weighs one, one kilogram here on Earth. Uh, however, if we took it somewhere else, like the moon, uh, it wouldn't weigh one kilogram. Uh, it would weigh much less. If we took it to Jupiter, uh, I think it would weigh uh, 100 kilograms or so. I'll be sure and research all that next time I give this lecture. Uh, however, the mass of one kilogram remains the same. Uh, and so for those of us in outer space or on other planets, uh, weight is a function of mass. Uh, and you can take physics to do all those calculations. Uh, but for those of us on planet Earth, uh, weight and mass are the same thing. Okay? Just wanted to make that point uh, and belabor it. I remember talking about this. Uh, the fundamental units of the metric system. Length is measured in meters. Uh, volume is measured in liters. Uh, and weight is measured in grams. Uh, and so volume is a function of length, and weight is a function of a volume of water. Uh, and so from length, we can take, make volume, and from volume of water, we can make weight uh, or mass. So what I want you to know is all the most important conversions within the metric system are based on multiples of 1,000. A kilogram is 1,000 grams, a milligram is 1 1,000th one of a gram, a microgram is 1 1 millionth of a gram, but more importantly, a microgram is 1 1,000th of a milligram. Uh, the centimeter, 1 1 hundredth of a meter. It's really the only place we use centa for is for centimeters. Uh, but everything else that's important in the metric system uh, is really based on multiples of 1,000. Uh, and once you understand that, uh, then you'll understand where engineering nomenclature comes from. Uh, but enough about that. So here's a line, all right? We've lost somebody already. This is a line. Everybody on board? All right. Cool. All right, everyone's back. This is a line, all right? And when the line can be measured, uh, and I wish it was uh, 10 centimeters long because that's what it's supposed to be, all right? Uh, and so we can measure uh, with our little rulers that I sent you guys the length of a line, all right? Uh, and the length of this line can be any number x. Uh, I'm going to say it's 10 eventually, but it can be any number x. Any number you imagine can be x. Well, if we take another line that's perpendicular, 90 degree angle, to uh, that line, and if it has the same length, x, which is important, we have length times length. And now what do we have? We have length squared, all right? And that's exactly what this is, a square. And this tells us the area of something. So now we have area measured by length times length, or you'll hear it length squared. All right. So when you hear uh, square centimeters, square meters, square millimeters, uh, all that business, uh, they're talking about an area uh, because area is a length times a length. Uh, and this gives us a two-dimensional uh, uh, something. Uh, and, oh, where did it go? I lost it. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. This is my little 10 by 10 centimeter square. Hmm. All right, so area is a function of length. Square area is equal to the length squared. This makes sense if you measure, if you have a square and you measure uh, one side uh, and the other side multiply and times each other, you have a uh, square area, all right? So uh, you can take anything. You can take a rectangle, uh, measure one side, measure the other side, multiply them with each other, uh, and that will give you the area, and it'll be term in terms of uh, whatever you used, squared. Uh, so square inches, square centimeters, square millimeters, square meters, it doesn't matter, all right? So if x equals 10, I always like 10, so does the metric system. Uh, and so if the length of a line in one direction is 10, uh, and the length of a square in the other direction is 10, uh, then 10 squared is equal to 100. Uh, and see, we can see the square area is 100. Have I, have I lost anybody? Mm -mm. Well, let's take one more line uh, and push it into the third dimension. Uh, and it is another line x. All right. 
Uh, and now we have this thing called a cube. I have one right here. Here's my cube. Uh, and now we have a cube. Uh, and if each side of the cube uh, is x, uh, then it would make sense that its volume is described as length times length times length, or length cubed. Uh, and so when we talk about volumes, uh, we can either talk about a volume like a liter, uh, or we can talk about uh, a volume in terms of cubic centimeters, cubic length. Uh, and this is where this comes from. And that's why uh, volumes uh, like liters and things based on liters are immediately interchangeable uh, with cubic lengths uh, from the metric system. Uh, and so the volume of this cube uh, is x cubed. Uh, and that's where all that cubic uh, length business comes from when we talk about volumes. <clears throat> uh, so again, if x is 10, uh, then the volume of this box is 1,000. All right? Somebody's got their calculator to make sure uh, that I'm doing the math correctly. Thank you. Uh, hopefully they won't get their rulers out and find out the squares aren't cut exactly. Correct. I did the best I could. Uh, so volume is a cubed function of length. Hopefully uh, everybody has an understanding of that. So uh, we can take our one liter bottle of water uh, and pour it into a cube uh, that holds one liter. I'll give you a hint. Here's the cube right here. Uh, it's not really ready for you to pour water into. Here, here, you can take this if you want. I guess not. No, nobody wants my cube. So let's pour our one liter bottle into a one liter cube and divide the cube into 1,000 cubes uh, and we will see that we have one one thousandth of a liter which is the same thing as one milliliter uh, which is the same thing as one cubic centimeter. Uh, and a cubic centimeter uh, is either abbreviated cc or cm to the third power. Uh, and so milliliter cc and cm to the third power is all exactly the same thing. Uh, and we get a lot of that in this medical business uh, where one thing has uh, a million different TLAs. TLAs are three-letter abbreviations unless there's only two letters involved and then those are two-letter abbreviations. Uh, and sometimes it means four-letter abbreviations too. So, uh, one milliliter, one cubic centimeter, or one centimeter cubed of water weighs one gram. Uh, and this is what the whole metric system is based on. Uh, so, if we take uh, a thousand grams, we have a kilogram, uh, and we're back to our original uh, one liter of water, uh, which is a thousand milliliters, which is where we started from. Huh, go figure. Uh, and so that's my best attempt uh, to describe the metric system. This is the University of Hawaii Maui College, the college on Maui.